What's up guys, if you've been following along, it is day 6 of our Northern Areas trip and today we are going to two of the most iconic waterfalls in Northern Pakistan. Sertu Valley is located in Gilgit Baltistan in Pakistan, on the Indus River which separates the Karakoram Range from the Himalayas. They started forming around 40 to 50 million years ago when the Indian and Eurasian plates collided into each other. In other words, it has taken nearly 50 million years for these mountains to rise to elevations as high as 8.6 kilometers. Driving at these altitudes in the mountains requires serious grit and skill. Inexperienced drivers may find themselves relying heavily on their brakes. It's advisable to use low gears and not overspeed. The risks of rash driving here far outweigh the benefits if there were any to begin with. Please drive carefully so you and the people you share a road with are all safe. Watching the turquoise water, I've been wishing we could stop for a dip. Last winter, I wanted to do a polar plunge on the last day of our trip, but I got horribly sick, so I wasn't able to do it. This time, everyone has been picking on me, asking me to jump in. Now, I've jumped in glacial pools more times than I can count at this point. I don't know how this whole thing turned into a pissing contest, but now I feel like I need to prove myself for some reason. The peer pressure is real, fam. winter and the temperature drops very low. Not to mention this water is actually fed by glaciers so it's already freezing cold. I wanted to do this on the countless beaches we saw next to the river but we didn't have time to stop so logically my only chance for a dip would be at the waterfall before the sun goes down. I'll have to deal with Belize and knowing you the whole way back. Now is my chance, while the locals and other tourists have gone away. I need to slip into my swimming trunk so I have something dry to change into after. Not gonna lie, that water was cold, but I very much cold the water. What threw me off was the immense power of the waterfall. I was barely able to keep my footing. I felt the tremendous weight of the water pushing me over. And that definitely got my blood pumping. Now we have to beat the clock and head to Manchoka waterfall before it gets too dark.
is one of the most visited waterfalls in Pakistan. But thankfully, we've arrived at the end of season, so there's barely anyone around. If you're planning a trip to Skardu, you should definitely take a day to visit both of these waterfalls. Now, normally, I would prefer to go to places that are difficult to access because I want to be far away from society and humankind. But this whole trip was a very relaxed one. We're traveling with family, so we limited walking distances and chose places that are easily accessible. Both these waterfalls are good places to visit for tourists and families. If you crave adventure though, then there are much better places for that. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to stay connected. Tomorrow we are headed to Yosai National Park, so I'll see you in the next video. And before I let you go, check out these pictures I took on the way back to Skirdu from Mantoha. Until next time, Allah Hafiz.